Hello everyone, welcome back to the FD Share channel. In this video, we will discuss the radiator, which functions to regulate the engine's working temperature to remain ideal and avoid damage. Here, we will discuss in detail starting from its history, working system, how to maintain it, as well as its advantages and disadvantages. A radiator is a tool that plays a crucial role in many fields, such as the automotive industry, electronics, and even the construction world. This tool manipulates an engine's heat energy and transfers it to the radiator. The radiator itself was first discovered by France Sengali from Russia in 1855. He then obtained a patent in 1857, two years after its discovery. Now, what we will discuss here is, of course, the radiator that functions to cool the vehicle engine. It is related to the fact that most vehicles nowadays use liquid coolant. So, to be more detailed, let's learn about the liquid types first. In short, liquid coolant is a fluid with a vital function for the radiator system. This fluid must be able to withstand the hot temperature of the engine when operating and also the cold temperature below 0 degrees Celsius, so that it does not freeze during the winter season at the end of the year. Therefore, manufacturers usually formulate liquid coolants using special materials to meet their standards. These materials consist of the following. Corrosion inhibitor. This chemical, commonly called anti-rust, is added to the coolant to protect the metal inside the cooling system from corrosion or rust. Anti-freeze. Ethylene glycol or propylene glycol has anti-freeze properties, which means this fluid can prevent the coolant from freezing at low temperatures. However, it should be noted that this compound is highly toxic, and the replacement process should be carefully considered to avoid environmental pollution. Anti-boil. Some radiator coolants also contain chemicals that prevent the radiator fluid from boiling at high temperatures. Lubricants. Some radiator coolants also contain hydrolube, which can help protect the cooling system from wear and tear. And finally, dye. Some radiator coolant manufacturers usually add dye to the fluid to make it easier for users to see the coolant level, and also as an indicator when there is a leak, which can be easily detected under UV light. The radiator starts working when the vehicle's engine is turned on. The engine's rotation is then transmitted from the crankshaft to the pulley, which is connected by a belt to rotate the impeller on the water pump and the radiator fan. This mechanism is usually applied to rear-wheel drive engines. For engines with a sideways position or orientation, also known as a front-wheel drive, the radiator fan is powered by an electric motor. However, the function and purpose remain the same overall. The rotation of the water pump serves to provide circulation of the liquid inside the engine, while the rotation of the fan serves to draw in fresh air from the front of the radiator unit. As we know, it is a basic principle that the power produced by the engine will generate heat, and eventually, the heat will spread to the surrounding area, including the coolant around the power source. Therefore, the liquid-cooled engine that has received this heat will then be circulated through the water pump's coolant lines inside the engine. The goal is to distribute the engine heat evenly and avoid accumulating in one spot to maintain the engine's optimal operating temperature. This condition will continue until the engine temperature exceeds the average operating temperature. To overcome this rising temperature, the thermostat will open the path to the radiator to cool down or lower the temperature of the hot coolant. More or less, that's how the radiator works. Now, how does the thermostat mechanism work to open and close the pathway to the radiator? The answer is then inside the thermostat. There is paraffin wax that functions to hold the position of the thermostat. When the thermostat reaches a sufficiently high temperature, the wax will melt as the temperature increases. Furthermore, when the temperature of the wax continues to rise, this condition will cause its molecules to expand and open the pathway to the radiator to enter the cooling process. This condition will occur until the engine temperature returns to normal. When the engine temperature has returned to normal, and the coolant temperature has also returned to the engine's working temperature, the thermostat will return to its original position. Next, after the high temperature coolant has passed through the thermostat, the coolant will enter the cooling process. The coolant will be cooled by exhaling air from the atmosphere, whether the vehicle is moving or from the manipulation of the fan. 
This condition aims to create a temperature transfer between liquid cooling and air in the atmosphere, where the air in the atmosphere will become hotter and the liquid coolant will become colder. Next, the coolant, which has become cooler, is returned to the cylinder block and cylinder head to keep the combustion chamber temperature optimal. But, of course, the radiator's working mechanism does not stop there. When the liquid cooled reaches a high temperature, its molecules will expand and cause excessive pressure on the engine and radiator channels. This can cause damage to the vehicle's radiator unit. To overcome this issue, the radiator cap is equipped with a valve or a relief valve, which functions to relieve excess pressure in the radiator by redirecting high-pressure radiator water out and storing it in a reservoir tank or an expansion tank. If the pressure is too excessive and the tank is full, the water will flow out. On the other hand, in addition to storing excess water, this reservoir also serves to refill the radiator water when the circulating coolant decreases and the radiator creates a negative pressure or suction power. So, that's how the radiator system works. As additional information, in certain cars, the radiator also functions as a room heater by circulating heat to a small radiator inside the car cabin, known as the heater core. The heater core's operating system is similar to the radiator in the engine bay but with a different purpose. Okay, that's the information we can provide about radiators in this video. Don't hesitate to liven up the comment section below. I'm Carrier, see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.